YouTube. We got a package in the mail. Uh, the CEO, I'm gonna say this, the CEO of Andis hit me up and asked me if I had the Zero Guard, that new Zero Guard, uh, the Zero Guard. So uh, this is a big package for a Zero Guard, but we're gonna open it up. Ooh, okay, showing love with the Andis. Okay, they gave me a whole new Andis Clipper. They gave me a whole new Andis Clipper and, and the OG. If you was back in the days in barber school, I remember back in the days in the barber school, this zero guard was very sought after. If you had one of these, all right, all right, all right. This is what it looked like. All right, that's what it looked like, OG. Definitely OG. I don't know why they discontinued this in the first place, but uh, yeah, we're here. Let me just open this, uh, let me just open the masters just to see. All right, just a regular pair of masters. Now let's just, let's just put it on for satisf satisfying purposes. I don't know why this is such a task. Boom, right there. It definitely feels like the uh, old school zero guard. This is on point. Shout out to the CEO at Andis for hitting me up, man. This is, this is pretty dope. Thanks for bringing it back. Stay tuned. YouTube, listen up, man. My son has back to school pictures. Yeah. That's what it's called. It's like back to school pictures. I want him to, I want him to have like super curly hair at the top. So I'm about to just put the, uh, what are these called? Like We're gonna put the perm rods. Ooh! You had it, the perm rods. We're gonna put the perm rods in his hair and hopefully it'll curl Hopefully it'll curl, all right? That's what, I, that's what I'm looking for, these little itty bitty curls. I, I just want them to pop on picture day, so let's do that first. making sure that there's no naps in my son's hair. So next, I'm gonna saturate um, his hair with water. And I know I said I was gonna use the perm rods, but when I saturated it with water, it just curled right up. So I was like, you know what? There's no need to you know, do the whole perm rod process. So I'm just gonna saturate it with water. Add my Johnny B Mold product, blow dry, and pin it up to work on the sides. All right, so I didn't even really need to use the perm rods. Uh, his hair was really curling up by itself. So we're just gonna do the taper. Now that I have the hair pinned up, I'm gonna work on the sides using my Endis Masters with the two guard with the lever fully closed and I'm going all the way up to that bulk area but I'm stopping. I'm gonna use all that bulk at the top so I'm not gonna cut all that off. I'm gonna save as much as I can cause I wanna shape it that way the hair on top has something to sit on. Next, I'm gonna clip or overcomb the top with the lever open and basically just give shape to the bulk that's on top. I'm 
gonna be setting in my bald line using my Babless FX Low Pro trimmers, all right? I'm gonna set it in in a rainbow-like shape. Uh, that way it adds some uniqueness to my blend. Going back with the masters with the lever fully open, going up about a half inch, making sure that I only use my corners, um, making sure that I go over that guideline multiple times to ensure that it's at that length. Now putting on the one guard with the lever open, I'm going up that same width about a half inch making sure that I use the full blade this time. That way it gets a lot of coverage um, when you're setting in the guideline. The reason why I could use the full blade is because you won't really necessarily see the guideline anyway. So it's okay to use the full blade because you're not really trying to set in a certain shape. So next, I'm just gonna soften up that middle line by closing the lever, making it easier for you to take it out with the next step. So as you guys know, I was sent the Zero Guard uh, and the Masters, so I'm just kinda testing out the Masters. Um, that's why you see me using it in this video. Um, with the Zero Guard, um, I feel like it's a lot different from all the other guards that I've ever used, especially when it comes to the zero guard, the half guard, all right? It's a lot easier and I don't have to come behind it um, with the lever open. When I use this guard to take out that middle line, it just comes out completely. That's the difference between uh, Andis uh, guard system and other guard systems. Finally taking out the bottom with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion, flick out that bottom line. Now notice how I'm using my corners the entire time. I'm not using that full blade um, cause I wanna pay attention to one thing at once, all right? One side at once. You don't wanna sit here and have to focus on two edges of the blade. So that's why I use my corners. So lastly, what I like to do is detail work. Detailing is extremely important. It separates you from just being an average barber. What I like to do is I like to refer to the mirror. The mirror shows you a different perspective on the blend than just seeing it head on. Also, if you don't have access to a mirror, you wanna take your eyes off the blend, rest your eyes, come back to it, then start doing some corner work, all right? Use the edge of the blade as a thinning shear just to get in the, between those bulk areas. Using my Stylecraft Unos, I'm gonna make sure that the bottom half is razor bald. This adds another transition to your blend. When it comes to the back, I use the same exact steps, all right? So the thing about getting quicker at cutting hair you want to make sure that you memorize these guidelines. Don't waver from these guidelines depending on your clients, all right? Use every step on every single client, all right? Get that rhythm down and just execute it, man. Don't be afraid to set in your whiffs the same way on every client, all right? So once you get that down and you get those guidelines memorized, it'll cut time from you thinking about what you need to do next. A lot of times, if you don't know what to do next, you'll end up using a guard that you really didn't need and just start wasting time picking up different guards. So just make sure that you have it memorized.
Next, I'm gonna work on prepping the front line, all right? I'm gonna put my duck clips in on the front, comb the hair down, and just make sure that the hair is laid as much as possible. I also like to spray a little hairspray on my son's front line, that way it'll lay down flat. So I always take the front line down to a 1.5, which is a one with the lever open or a one guard, all right, with the lever closed. It really doesn't matter. Um, I just found that I wanted to match um, the sides. So basically I just left the one guard open, all right, instead of closing it. But this length really gets the best crispiest lineup. will be in the description below otherwise you guys can follow me on instagram and tiktok my tiktok is official 360 gz and my instagram is 360 gz but it's your boy 360 gz and i'm out of here All right, YouTube, this is the cut. Took a minute. Jerry, you like your, uh, you like your cut? Yeah. You hungry? Yeah. All right, let's get something to eat. We out. Peace.